Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Guys, today we're going to be talking about, yes, and then again, we're going to be talking about Yula, the new cryo character that's going to be coming out in Genshin Impact 1.5 second patch. It's going to be nice, short, and concise for all of you beautiful people. Listen, 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 listen. I told you guys to start pre-farming way back when. I told you guys, I made a video. I told you guys to start farming because she's gonna come out and then you're gonna be unprepared and then you're gonna be like, oh no, I cannot to beat the abyss. Sag. Oh wait, no, Madge. You're gonna be real mad at me just because, oh no, you didn't tell me to do this. Actually, I don't, I don't think, why would you even be mad at me? <laughs> I told you to do it. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, so yeah, you, we're just gonna be talking about the general stuff that you may need and the weapon you may need and the artifact set you may need of course we're going to be talking about two of the artifact sets and two weapons anyways moving on first things first we're going to be talking about the artifact set the artifact set i recommend is the pale flame set it's the new one brand new one of course it's going to be released just for her so I do recommend using that set. It's going to give a lot of damage to Eula, especially because of her attacks. Um, she is a cryo user, so I think cryo has a high multiplier. And I really hope so, seeing all the gameplay and stuff, it does look powerful. And I cannot wait to use her. Anyways, we're going to be talking about why the Pale Flame set is good on her. Well... Pale Flame came out with the Genshin Impact 1.5 update alongside the tenacity of the Melilith set. Alright, so why is the Pale Flame set good for her? And Genshin likes to do this thing where they release a set along with the character. Um, they haven't really done that often, but they have done that for Tartaglia. They've done that for now, Zhongli with the new tenacity set of the Melilith. And they're... And this new Pale Flame set looks to be um, for Eula in specific, especially because of the colors too, very Eula-like. And yeah, let's just go over it. I recommend a four-piece Pale Flame set. This will give you physical damage bonus all around, which will, I think that Eula is going to be running very well. First and foremost, your goblet, physical damage bonus, nothing else. If you're going to run Cryo, uh, for your goblet, you might as well run a cryo set. they are gonna run two cryo, two pale flame. Or actually, don't do that. Two cryo, two noblesse oblige. That's gonna be your E and Q burst. You want that. You don't want your anything else. If you want to do a burst damage build. But if we're gonna do physical damage, four pale flame, no other. It's perfect. It's for her. Anyways, I'm gonna be running four on her for that. And I might be trying her burst damage as well, just for the fun of it. Anyways, I recommend the 4 Pale Flame. Moving on, let's talk about her weapon of choice. So, for you free-to-play frogs. Alright, so we're going to be talking about the free-to-play weapon of choice. In my opinion, you should be using the Snow Tomb Tsar Silver Claymore. It's very powerful, easy to collect, very easy to do. Um, Dragon Spine, there's a quest, finish the quest, get the recipe. You also get a free um, No Tomb Star Silver Claymore too. Very perfect for her. It gives physical damage bonus. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys build this if you are going to do a free-to-play style build for her. Um, especially if you don't have the new weapon that's going to be coming out that they snuck in a sneak peek. I'm sure it's going to be somewhat built for her. It, it is coming out the same time. It has that blue color, same as Eula. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like somewhat like, I don't know, cryo, cryo, cryo damage bonus or physical damage bonus. One of those, I'm sure it's one of those because it is coming out with Eula at the same time. So that's that. That's it. Um, I think I also... I think I also wanted to talk about one last thing with Eula. She's coming out soon. Pre-farm for her. I already made a video why you should be. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you need. 
you need a lot of Mora, you need a lot of um, talent books, I'm assuming Monsat talent books, you're gonna have to grind that dungeon, it's already doubled for, you know, the event and stuff, so you should be doing that. I'm not sure what she needs for her proper ascension, but you should probably be grinding um, any Monstat specialty, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys do enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. That will help me a lot. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.